Welcome YouTube. The video you're about to see is a reaction video. It is a video of opinion. Nothing personal is meant toward the individuals in the videos. My volition uh, for posting these reaction videos is to look at these videos and critique them through the lens of correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar. Usually they are quantum grammar related videos and I'm looking for correct sentence structure knowledge here. And I'm also looking at the claims made in the videos through the lens of correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar. Now you may notice that I'm doing certain things with my hands. I am not making any secret hand signs or gestures. When one is doing public speaking, there's only so many things you can do with your hands. You can fold them, maybe put them on your hips, dangling lifelessly at your sides, put them in your pockets, hold them like this, whatever it is. I'm not making any type of signaling gestures, unless I do this, which means shaka. Keep in mind the information, the things that I'm sharing in this video are for educational purposes only, entertainment purposes only, nothing personal towards the individuals in the videos themselves. Thanks and enjoy. I wasn't going to do any more videos where I audit people or do reactions to what it is they're doing. However, this was brought to my attention. And in this video, this guy, Mark Lowercase Cake, has shown Christopher uh, directly um, points me out in it. And so, therefore, I'm going to take a look at it and see what's going on here. Remember, this guy got kicked off of YouTube because he was posting BS. Malicious BS. Uh, so let's see let's see what he's up to here okay so this is the second part now once you got that baton and you are comfortable using it the coroner would also be in, need to be involved the sheriff as well okay something that they are able to administer okay once that is done I need somebody or all of you to be able to source because you can operate as a group you need to source uh, a badge for yourselves. Now, there are conventional badges out there, which is uh, like $30 or whatever, but we can't use them because they got their own symbols. These badges will have to be cast for us, and you need to source somebody that can cast those badges, okay, from, as it were, you know, it sounds as though he's with the volition of creating his own guns and clubs police force. So normally, it would be a shield, and then you would have a circular seal inside that shield. Okay, and they usually come with some sort of leather wallet and things like that. You'll also be given credentials that I can create myself, that I can ship out to you. Okay, but I need you folks, you coroners and sheriffs, to come together find a manufacturer that can forge for us a shield that is unique to us. <laughs> forge. That's an interesting word there. But I need you folks to do. In Ad addition to that, in the next coming few months, what's going to happen is that in Canada, US, and so on and so forth, my sheriffs and coroners as well are going to be trained in the, um, uh, in the use of pistols and uh, side armaments. This might include, you know, the use of the uh, baton, as it were. That's a flexible uh, baton. All right, ladies and gentlemen, think about what this guy is talking about or implying. Now, don't think for a minute that I buy into any of this. Uh, for all, you know, I'll tell you a little story right now. Um... Back in 2019, I think, or 2018, uh, I was friends with a with a young man who attended one of Mark Lowercase K's uh, plenipotentiary judgeship programs, whatever it was. Spent, you know, a couple thousand dollars to attend the program. And uh, 
supposedly learned how to become a plenipotentiary judge, learned the grammar, and he was also going to be a sheriff or a deputy or, or something like that underneath this Mark lowercase k. The young man came back to uh, the past tense United States, came back to North America, and the very day that he came back, he called me and said that he had been pulled over by the police. He was frantic. He didn't know what to do. He wanted me to to guide him through what to do. And I'm thinking to myself, you just spent thousands of dollars to take a three or four whatever day plenipotentiary judge course with this guy right here. And you don't know how to handle yourself in that type of situation? You know, that was a couple years ago. Uh, so now think about this, what this guy is implying. So we already have a system in place that has guns and clubs, sidearms, uh, batons, as he says. Things, tools for physical violence. Rather than create something different than the fiction system, how is what this guy is trying to create anything different? Okay, how is it anything different? Do you like it when someone mandates something upon you and enforces you to do something because they have a gun, a badge, or a baton, and they threaten you and your family? What is the difference between the fiction system doing that and the difference between some other fiction entity like this guy doing that to you? What he's proposing is nothing. It's no different than what's already in place. The only difference is he's in charge and he decides who's going to be shot with a gun or beat with a baton or whatever. So you people out there who follow this guy, think about that. Uh, because if you're a fan, if you buy into what's going on right now, if you love the system you're in right now, well then I can see why you would like what he's offering, because he's offering the same BS, just from a different perspective. He doesn't even use correct sentence structure. I mean, look, look, of the global haven chief, blah, 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 and of the, that is not correct. And then the title's not even in correct sentence structure. And everything's in brackets. Why is it in brackets? Because he doesn't know correct sentence structure and he shows no evidence of any such thing. It's fantasy land ridiculousness. And telling you that TikTok is uh, trying to seize your computer and stuff. All of them do it. But YouTube and this Google and things, they hide that information from you. TikTok is just revealing what Google is hiding from you. Some of you people. This is the same BS he was talking about YouTube years ago when he said, YouTube doesn't hide anything from you. YouTube wants quality content, wants you to create quality content, and so on and so forth. But when he started putting out um, malicious, salacious uh, defamation of character towards certain people with no proof or anything, then YouTube was like, that's enough, and they took him off. So now suddenly... Whereas before he was a supporter and proponent of YouTube, now he's against YouTube because YouTube wasn't putting up with his BS, but it apparently uh, TikTok is. So that's interesting. A lot more popular than you think. Some of you people that are extremely popular may not even have a single view. That's all controlled by Google, which is a private company. Now, this is my website. As I said to you, when I got time, I'll be going after him. Going after him. So, Mark said he's going after someone. Sounds like malicious intent to me. Have you ever once, ladies and gentlemen, ever heard me say I'm going after somebody? That's a fiction tactic. When you go after someone, you have malicious intent with intent to cause harm to someone. Do you remember the simple axiom, do no harm? Rule one, rule equal. This guy has completely 
modified his narrative from when he started. Corporal punishments would be administered <laughs> because these people have done incredibly toxic things. This one, Portugal, by the way, I've created a treaty that existed already. Sorry, I brought to life a treaty that already exists to be able to deal with this thing here hiding in Portugal. That's if he's still in Portugal. So Portugal has okayed that. Corporal punishment will be administered. Computers and things like that uh, to stop him from uh, false fo forging David Wayne Miller's book. Remember, he talked about forging badges, and now he's talking about forging David Wayne Miller's book. Okay, you can't have it both ways there, Mark Lowercase K. Um, who are you to tell someone what they can or cannot do with their now space? It sounds like pretty fiction system-ish to me. And all of these things will be confiscated and destroyed on the spot. Punishments will be administered. Okay. Uh, this one will, you know, we'll do it at our leisure. He thinks he can hide in the private. You all know what he is. That's pretty funny. He'll deal with him at his leisure. Uh, this slot, we'll deal with them when I've got time. This one. Right here. This individual in the white shirt, this woman in the white shirt, was a federal postal judge certified under David Wynn Miller and Russell J. Gould. I'm pretty sure, don't quote me on that, but at least under David Wynn Miller, he, she was his federal postal judge in Hawaii. This, this is true. Mark Lowercase K was never, ever certified a federal postal judge by David Wynn Miller. Now, I have uh, had conversations or communications with this individual right here. That's all I'm going to say about that. Uh, but I just wonder, you know, how is it that all of these people that he's talking about are actually people that once worked with him? And then for whatever reason, now they're his enemy. All of these people, even this guy right here, uh, from I think he's from Australia. He was like very close with with Mark working very close with him and then some sort of Disagreement happened. I'd have to say it has to do with money that that would be my personal Opinion on it because if one thing this guy up here knows how to do is make money off of people um, So I'd have to say it would be a dispute about money one will be dealt with uh, very swiftly this one hides out in Australia Okay. This one as well, a corporal punishment will be administered. <laughs> so, yeah, well, let's continue this, for a minute. You remember here. this one? This is the one that's here. Uh, this one here. Okay, so notice he doesn't mention Raven at all. And also notice that. So why he would feel the need to have this individual on here is beyond my comprehension because this person has never, to my knowledge, ever done anything. I, they've contacted me once or twice. They're very nice. They're not malicious. I think they made a claim that uh, Mark ripped them off somehow. And so that's the reason why. And again, it comes down to money. Now, as far as I'm concerned, where he's talking about me, where he's talking about corporal punishment. <clears throat> okay. What's the continuance of the evidence as to why he would feel that way about me? Is it because I came out in public and showed that he does not have closure on the grammar? That there's no evidence that he knows how to syntax or write a correct sentence structure? Could it be because of that? Ladies and gentlemen, I've... This is the same thing for Russell J. Gould as it is for uh, Mark Lowercase K. Whenever anybody does not want to bow down and kiss their butt and follow them and worship them and subordinate themselves to them, then that person becomes insubordinate and an enemy. And then both Mark and Russell will disqualify them and put them on their website, as uh, Russell did 
he talked about bounty seekers. He was going to send bounty hunters out to hunt these people down. And it's the same thing this guy's doing. It's the same thing as might makes right. It's the same thing as the fiction system does. Their volition is to use force to eliminate their enemies. It's a warlike volition. And neither one of them has closure on the grammar. So I felt it necessary to bring this out because he did put up my picture on here. But this is an ad nauseum thing. I've said it over and over. This guy is completely fiction. And hopefully no one will buy into his BS so much that they will actually carry a gun and try to shoot somebody on his behalf. Because you know who's going to get in trouble for that? You know who's going to pay the price for that? Not him. They are. You are, if you're one of his followers. So, caveat emptor. Buyer beware. If you'd like to learn correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar, contact me at the email address listed at the bottom of your screen. I will set up a 10 to 15 minute video consultation between you and me. You can ask me whatever you like, and I'll do the same, and we'll see if this is something that uh, you're prepared to commit to. If you'd like to support the channel, click on the Join button underneath this video. There are two tiers of membership. Uh, the second tier has access to exclusive content not available to the public. Once again, thank you for watching. Uh, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Turn the notification bell to all so that you don't miss any of my premieres because I do post on a very consistent basis. There are over 500 correct sentence structure videos for here you to study on this channel. My gift to you, my fellow mankind. Thank you again, and I'll see you in the next one.